This is lesson 48 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson is passing values to functions with arguments. So parameters are variables that act as placeholders for the values that are to be input to a function when it is called. When a function is defined, it is typically defined along with one or more parameters. The actual values that are input or passed into a function when it is called are known as arguments. So here's a function with two parameters, param1 and param2. So param1 and param2. And then we console log param1 and param2. Then we can call test fun, test fun, and we pass in the arguments hello and world which take place of our param1 and param2. So we have passed two arguments, hello and world. Inside the function, param1 will equal or be assigned hello, and param2 will equal or be assigned world, the string hello and the string world. Note that you can call test fun again with different arguments, and the parameters would take on the value of the new arguments. Instructions. Create a function called function with args that accepts two arguments and outputs their sum to the dev console and then call the function. So we come over here. The example they created our function with args and they gave it a param of a and a param of b or a parameter of a and a parameter of b. The code inside the curly braces will run which is going to console log whatever a is minus whatever b is. So line 6, they invoke the function with args, or our function with args, and they pass in the arguments 10 and 5. So this goes into the parameters a and b, and then it runs the code with a being 10 and b being 5 and it will return to us 5 or we'll console log 5 because that is what 10 minus 5 is so now that we kind of understand that they want us to create uh, create a function function with args so here line 9 we're doing function with args and we can do the same ones a and b we do our curly braces and inside is what we want what we want it to do when it's called which would be console log a plus b okay and then that's our function. Now we need to call it on line 12 because it did also say to call the function. So to call it, we would simply function with args and we could pass in whatever two numbers we want. We could do something like 500 and 1345. So when we run this, it's going to replace the parameter A with 500 and the parameter B with 1345. Then it's going to run the code and it's going to do A plus B, which should give us 1845. And that should be it for this lesson. Let's run it. And as you can see, 1845 is displayed here and we cleared the challenge.